Hello and welcome into the 3D. Today we will create this leaf falling effect in Unreal Engine 5. This will add an extra layer of detail to your scenes and you can use it for any project. To use this effect you need to upgrade Unreal Engine 5 to version 5.3 or higher. First let's open the content folder, right click and create a new folder. This new folder will contain the visual effects, so we can rename it as VFX. Next, let's create another folder called Textures. And finally, we need one more folder for our materials. All the leaf textures used for this project should have a transparent background. Access the Textures folder provided in the descriptions by following the link where you can support me by buying me a coffee. Alternatively, you can opt for a membership to receive support from me through our Discord channel. If you want to use your own texture, ensure to remove the background before importing them into your project. Let me close this. Now, please import the leaf texture that you would like to use for this project. Then, move the texture inside the textures folder by dragging and dropping it. Then, I will move the textures folder inside the VFX folder and I will also move the materials folder to the VFX folder. Let's go inside the VFX folder. Here you should find both the materials and textures folder. The texture folder should contain our textures so you won't need anything else inside it. However, if you go inside the materials folder, you will create a new material there. Right click inside this folder and create a material. We can call this one leaf mud, so we know that this is the leaf material. Let's double click on it to open the material graph. On the left panel, for visual representation, change the sphere to a plane. So for this material, we need to use the opacity channel. First, go to your texture folder and drag and drop the leaf texture onto your material graph. Maximize the graph and then to use the color from the texture connect the RGB to the base color. As soon as the node is connected to the base color we can see the texture on the preview panel. But it doesn't have a transparent background. Therefore the alpha channel needs to be connected to the opacity. But currently the opacity channel is not available. To make it available select the leaf material Go to the blend mode and change this to translucent. This should enable the opacity channel. Connect the alpha of this to the opacity to achieve a transparent texture. The only problem we have now is that if you look at this texture from behind, it will disappear. To fix this, simply go to the details panel and enable the two-sided option, which will instantly resolve the problem. Let's save this material. Since we are done with this, we can close the material graph. Now let's go back to the VFX folder. Right click and create a Nitro system. In the new panel, select the first option, which is New System from Selected Emitters. Click the Next button and select the Glowing Particles template. I have to mention that again. The Blowing Particles template is only available for Unreal Engine 5.3 or higher versions. So, if you don't see this option, you need to upgrade to the latest version of Unreal Engine 5. When you select this template, click on this plus icon and then hit finish. Now, I will name this as Leaf NS, where NS stands for Nair System. Great! Once you finish naming this, double click to open the graph. You can see the preview of this effect on the top left side of the screen, but they are barely visible. To make them more visible, go to the window and open the preview scene settings. Once you click, it will show the preview scene settings on the right. Navigate under environment and uncheck the show environment option. This will make the particles clearly visible. If you prefer, you can also change the background color to a slightly darker shade to enhance their visibility. Now that we can see the particles, let's go to the sprite render settings, 
Ensure you are on the details panel. Since we have finished with the previous scene settings, let's close that. Next, go to the details panel and make sure the sprite render is selected. Then, change the material to the leaf material that we have created, which is the first option for me. Now that the leaf textures are visible on the particles, let's save this and import the nitro system to your scene by dragging and dropping it. Press play. You will notice that the leaves start falling down, however, they may not be big enough and the effect may be limited to a small area. Let's go back to the system. Give me two seconds. Okay, click on the particle spawn and first we will adjust the lifetime of the particles. Let's set it to a minimum of 15 seconds and maximum of 30 seconds. After adjusting the particle lifetime, we can increase the size of the particles by adjusting the uniform sprite size settings. Let's make the size 20 by 40, save this and let's see the effect. As you can see, the size of the leaves is increased and some of them now have a longer lifetime which help us to see them when they hit the ground. I will keep the particle size as it is, but you can always go to the particle spawn and change the particle size from there. After this, let's go to the shape location and change the sphere radius to make it affect a larger area. I will set it to 2000. Let's save this and you will see that the affected area of the particles is increased and covering my scene. Let me move it to the middle so it will cover the scene completely. Yes, it seems like it is covering the whole scene which is great. Since we increase the size of the spawn location, we need to spawn more particles in our scene. To do that, let's go back to the system, click on the spawn rate and you will see that it is currently set to 15. If we change this number to something like 1000, the number of spawn particles will increase. Let's save this again, minimize the panel and let me play this in new editor window so I can maximize the screen. I think it is already looks great and the amount of the particles is good enough. Also, the particles already have collisions, so they are colliding with the environment. It's a lot of fun to see the effect while playing the game, it adds another layer of quality. I'm quite happy with the effect so far, however, let's go back to the system again and let me think what else we can change. Let me show you how we can change the wind direction and wind speed to give you a bit more flexibility. Click on the wind force and if you go to the first option, which is the wind speed, you will find three directions, X, Y and Z. Currently, X is set to 200, so I will decrease the wind speed on the X axis by changing this number to 50. However, on the Y axis, I will increase it to 300. So, let's save this one more time. Then go back to the graph and let me press play. As you can see, the direction of the wind has been affecting the particles and this is how you can change the wind direction or speed by simply using the wind force. I believe I have covered almost everything you will need regarding this template. If you have any questions, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get a mentorship or support the channel, you can buy me a coffee by following the link down below. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.